After months of delays, the House is finally set to vote on and likely pass tens of billions of dollars in military and humanitarian aid. That money will go not just to Israel and U.S. allies in the Pacific, but also to Ukraine. And in an ironic twist, House Democrats giving Speaker Mike Johnson's aid package enough votes to make it to the House floor, where we can expect a final vote sometime tomorrow. News Nation's Joe Khalil following all of this for us on Capitol Hill. Joe, we are talking about a rare weekend vote here. Yeah, so the vote passed earlier today. That was the rule, uh, the procedural vote that basically tees up the vote on the actual bill, but not without trauma, which has become a pretty familiar theme here with this Congress. I want to get into what happened this morning in just a minute. First, let's take a look again at what these four bills actually together are going to look like what they will vote on tomorrow uh, it's going to be 61 billion dollars for ukraine 26 billion dollars for israel 8 billion dollars for taiwan for the indo-pacific region military assistance there and then there's also going to be a fourth bill that has some other uh, foreign policy priorities that republicans and democrats have uh, in many ways agreed to so those are going to be the four bills that get a vote tomorrow what happened this morning was incredibly rare this procedural step this rule. Typically, the party in power, in this case Republicans, all vote for it. The opposite party, in this case Democrats, would all vote against it, and it would pass. It would basically set up bigger votes and debate. That did not happen this time. This is not the first time, but Republicans have been voting against their own rule. And in this case, 55 of them voted against it. And you're right, Democrats sort of came to the rescue of the Speaker of the House and other uh, Republican leaders in big numbers, Democrats supporting this rule today. We talked to a number of Republicans about this. Many of them are frustrated because there was nothing for border security in this package at all. And also there are growing concerns now that the Speaker of the House may be in danger of losing his job. There are now three Republican House members, including Marjorie Taylor Greene, who instigated this, who are now signing on to this motion to vacate, a, tr a trigger that would effectively hold a vote, force a vote to remove him from being Speaker. We caught up with a number of members, including Ralph Norman, a Republican earlier this morning. Here's what he said about this and just generally about where Republicans are. I think it's a problem when you allow Democrats, as left as they are, to pass anything. Uh, and I don't think you strengthen them. And yes, it hurts our cause. But look, uh, that's why we're up here. We live to fight another day. We get beat on this, we'll maybe fight on something else. He, he's In his mind, he's doing what he thinks is right. I can't criticize him for that. Now, look, we've heard from the speaker. He has already said that he thinks that putting funding forward for Ukraine is the right thing to do. And he said that if he ends up losing his job over that, then so be it. So we're going to see how this plays out again tomorrow, the rare Saturday session uh, where the House is going to be here. The Senate very well may pick that up relatively quickly, too. And we could see it soon on President Biden's desk. All right, yeah, we will see what happens. Joe Khalil live for us there in Washington. All right, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.